Hello, here we are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yep. Uh, home of cheesesteaks. Yeah. Right? And yes. right behind us is Gino's, which uh, is real popular, and across the street that way is Pat's. So, uh, we're going to be on many adventures here, including tasting cheesesteaks. Yep. And uh, we're looking for the Rocky Steps. Rocky Steps. Yeah, uh, um, Chinatown. Yeah. Gonna go uh, to it, Reading. It, yeah, There's uh, a lot of things we're gonna uh, be doing. Independence. Hall, Independence Hall, right? see the Liberty Bell. Right, yeah. so uh, stick around and uh, come on this journey with us. Independence Hall. All right, here's the front of the Independence Hall. They're doing some remodeling outside. And directly across the street, is the Liberty Bell. Can't go in now because it's closed. Go to the big old park. What do you think? It's cool. A lot of remodeling happening though. Yeah. Right here on Market Street and 7 is the uh, Thomas Jefferson Declaration House. Alright, here's the uh, Chinatown Gate there. This is one long street. Uh, one long street. That's Chinatown. Here's the Chinese fire department. That's what you call that, the Chinese five alarm yes. fire. Out of engine company one. Alright, we got a hot tip uh, on the web that this place called uh, what Sang Key Peking Duck House has some amazing duck rolls. Yeah. So we got two to go, only three fifty a piece. Yeah, we're gonna try them later and find out. How about right now? We'll try one right now. Okay, we'll try one now. So, comes this in a cool little bag. Comes in a little bag. In this little bag. Yep. It looks like a burrito. I'll Look try it. Hot. Hot. Mmm. It's a place right here. What's it taste like? Like Peking duck? It tastes like Peking duck with hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce. Good. Not bad. Cool little snack right here in uh, Philadelphia Chinatown. Sang Key. Come check it out. Yeah. Alright, we got the, uh, the Peking uh, duck rolls, but you know, sharing is caring, so I see some hungry cats over here. Let's see if they like me. Right here uh, is the Reading Terminal Market. It's a whole block long. It's got a whole bunch of uh, eateries and uh, farmers market kind of stuff all in there. Outside is under construction right now, but right. It's the inside that's pretty cool. Uh, they're closed at like 6 p.m. So we'll right now it's if, about 7. Yeah, we'll see if we can make it tomorrow. Take a look inside. Since we're kind of running out of things to do at night and mm -hmm. places are closing up, we decided to take the big bus tour. Never taken one before, but we've seen it in all the places we've been. Yeah, I'm sure you have too, right? There are double deckers, open top. Yep, and they have a night of Philly tour. Night of Philly tour of Philly night tour. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna check it out. Yeah, we are. It's uh, 30 bucks a person. Yep. And they stop at the Rocky Stairs. Yep. That's it. That's what we need. The building has 700 rooms on the inside, 250 statues that actually surround this building. Gallows. This is where the gallows were, and this used to be called Logan Square. They took the gallows away and replaced it with a museum called the Waterwork Museum. You can actually take the tour. It's a pay-as-you-wish museum. All right, here we are. We're at the base of the Rocky Stairs, yeah. which is like, uh, cool. the stairs of the museum right there. So we're going to go for it. Let's go. Right? All right, we made it to the top. This is the Woo! view right there. It's like downtown Philly. Yep. And behind us in the stairs is the uh, museum. Art museum. Yep, that was fun.
Oh yeah. Uh, here, get you a picture of the statue. All right, here's the Rocky Balboa statue. Right there. So the base of the steps. Museum. It's two and a half miles over the Delaware River, and you can go from Philadelphia into Camden, New Jersey. You go from Philadelphia to the courtyard to the left. There is her grave. She's buried there next to her third husband. All right, good morning. This is uh, day two in Philly. Uh, we are at the Reading uh, Terminal. Terminal Market. Market, yeah. Yeah. Market. yeah, this is the one that we showed you from the video uh, last night. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, there's a lot of cool places. Some uh, Amish bakeries, uh, restaurants, and we're going to go try for breakfast the uh, a popular, the Dutch eating place. Yeah. They're known for their scrapple. Scrapple. Be interesting. Let's yep. go check it out. Alright, this is our first stab at Scrapple. Just like cornmeal and uh, mixed with uh, pork. Of course, okay. I'm gonna try this out. Crispy. Um, you can taste the cornmeal in it. Taste the pork. Yeah, yeah. Definitely has a little smooth texture of pork, not chunky pieces or anything. Kind of creamy. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, a little creamy. Now, um, with eggs, toast is perfect. Yeah. I like it. This place is really cool. It's about uh, three times the size of Grand Central Market. A lot more eateries though. A lot more eateries. Lots of stuff here. It's really cool. Alright, the Hatfield Valley. You saw this on the video. They have some amazing lunch and meat here. Get your uh, roast beef rare, corned beef, turkeys, all different kinds of bacon. Of course, you get your scrapple. Alrighty, what's the easy little tip is you can get your sandwich made in Hatfield. That's where you saw all the wide array of cheeses and meat. Go right across the way to Belvere's and get all of your salads. Look at these amazing pickles. Alright, right behind us is the uh, famous Bassett ice cream. Been here since 1861. Wow, that's what I was about to say that. Yeah. There it is right here. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'll use the roast pork with provolone and greens. We split a half. We got the other one half to go. I'm just gonna try it out. Try it out. What's interesting is the greens is like broccoli, little broccolini greens. Let's try this out. Mm, Greens are good. Very well seasoned. Mm, good. I'm gonna try mine. All right, here we are. We're, uh, we're gonna wrap things up at the uh, Reading, Reading Terminal. terminal right yeah, uh, there are about 75 vendors here. Yeah. It's gonna take you a while to go down yeah. uh, each row and check everything out. If you're a big foodie, it's gonna take you a couple of days to go through here. Especially if you want to yeah. sample stuff. If you want to sample everything, or uh, almost everything, it's going to take you a, a definitely a couple of days. If you're in Philly for a couple of days, this is a great place to come and have breakfast, lunch, anything like that. And dinner. Yep. But they close around 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, I think, though. Yeah. Right, right. So there's plenty of stuff to see here yeah. at the uh, the Reading Terminal Market. Yep. Liberty Bell, we're waiting for our turn to go see it. Benjamin Franklin's house was, and they have these little viewing areas, various parts of the house. And this one here is the kitchen. This is where it existed. Alrighty, this is an actual post office that was here. It's the Ben Franklin post office. What's neat is when you come mail your things here, they stamp it this way. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's the Ben Franklin Bridge. Could be wrong. But here's Penn's Landing, and this is the Delaware River. And New Jersey's right across the way. I think this is where George Washington uh, crossed the Delaware River in a boat. Who's talking over there? All right, we took the uh, uh, SEPTA subway uh -huh. uh, station to go see uh, a Phillies game. Like so, five stops from where we're staying. Yeah, it's only like uh, five, five bucks for the both of us. Yeah. So uh, there, there's a station right there behind us. And on this side, that's the um, Citizens Bank um, baseball field. Yeah, over there. Over here is the football. Football. And then right uh, bas there yeah, basketball. is right the there. basketball and um, and hockey. Hockey, hockey. Basketball and hockey. Yeah, so they call this the uh, sports. AT&T Sports Complex. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, we're going to check out the baseball now. All right, good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is our last day in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. But today we're going to take a day trip to New York, New York. City. Yep. Aboard and the one of these, the Megabus. Yeah, it was really inexpensive and it's about a two hour drive mm -hmm. or ride. And so we're going to go check out New York City this morning. We are. Uh, we're going to be there for about 12 hours. So. Yep. It's going to be fun. Yep, we got our, we got our Dunkin' Donuts, coffee in hand. And we're ready to go. Ready for the morning ride. <laughs> 